A literal equation is some equation that has more than one variable. It has two or three or four variables. And usually when you're talking about literal equations, it's in reference to some real life uh, formula or equation that, that you would use to measure like perimeter or area of a circle or uh, volume of a sphere or you know some, something like that. Maybe distance and rate and time if it's like a physics example. But a sum equation uh, usually doesn't have to be that is dealing with some sort of real life scenario. Uh, and usually also when you're t talking about literal equations, you're going to either already have one variable uh, solved in terms of the others, or you'll be asked to write one variable in terms of the other. So it's good practice because you, you get to practice manipulating equations around so that you can solve for one variable in terms of another. It's just an important skill to have for your entire algebra class. But anyways, that's usually why we primarily study literal equations. So um, let's look at some typical exercises that you'll often be asked to do when when studying these guys. Okay, so here's here's an example. We've got a rectangle here and it has a couple of different sides on it. Obviously for a rectangle the opposite sides are of equal length. So we have an L and L side, we'll call that the length side, and W and W, we'll call that the width side. And let's say we were trying to find the perimeter of this rectangle. Well for perimeter we're basically just going to add up all the sides. So you have L plus W plus L plus W. You add those up, you have the perimeter. So the perimeter, which we'll call P, equals L plus W plus L plus W. So technically that right there is a literal equation. It's got more than uh, two or more variables and we have the perimeter solved for it. Matter of fact, we can even simplify this. We can write the perimeter equals 2L plus 2W. So that, that's pretty decent. Now, what sort of exercises might you be asked to do in dealing with, with something like this? Well, sometimes they'll even already give you a, a literal equation, and what they'll ask you to do is solve for one of the other variables, let's just say W for instance, in terms of P and L. Because the way this is set up, you can find the perimeter if you know the length and the width, but what if you know the perimeter and the length and you want to know the width? Well, you see how you'd have to reorder the terms and solve for W to get W in terms of P and L. So again, as I said earlier, it's just good practice manipulating equations, adding and subtracting and, and doing all those, those good types of things. So uh, let's, let's see if we can do that real quick. So let's see if we can solve P equals 2L plus 2W. Let's see if we can solve that for W. W is right, right here. So I see some things that are in my way. I've got a 2 that's in my way and a 2L that's being added, added to that guy. Um, so if we can get those away or put those on the left-hand side, then we'll isolate our W. Now you have to keep in mind order of operations. Uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, you know, parentheses, uh, exponents, multiplication, division, then addition, then subtraction. So you have to be mindful of that. So I, I think to solve for the W, the first thing you'd have to do is subtract away that 2L. We can't divide by this 2 first because of the 2L that's being added, um, but we can subtract away the 2L first. So we'll subtract 2L from both sides, and you'll have P minus 2L equals 2W. All we did was we took the 2L on the right and subtracted it over to the left. On the right hand side these canceled, that's why you only have 2W. All right now to get W by itself we're going to divide by 2. Okay, The right side and the entire left side. So those will cancel. So we see W equals this expression. And I'll, I'll flip that equality around so W is on the left but W equals P minus 2L over 2. So, so that equation is equivalent to the very first equation, but this one is written in terms of P and L 
as opposed to L and W. So if now if you had a, a certain hypothetical rectangle where you knew the perimeter was, you know, I don't know, 18, but you knew the length was um, four, then you could solve and figure out what the width would need to be in a rectangle like that. So this is a very typical uh, exercise that, that you could expect to see. All right, let's do one more fast one. Um, here we've got a triangle, and let's say maybe we're trying to find the area of the triangle. Well, the area, as you know, depends on the how wide the base is and how tall it is, and the formula is one half base times height. That's something you're probably either just given or that you've memorized over the semesters. So area equals one half base times height. But let's say maybe we were asked here to solve the area formula for height instead of having it being solved for area. So the height is right here. So how, how do you get rid of the one half and how do you get rid of the, the B? Well, let's, let's do that. <clears throat> A equals one half B times H. So to get rid of the one half, you, you could say divide both sides by a half. Technically, that's right. Um, but dividing by more fractions can be a little confusing. I think what might be easier would be to multiply both sides by two because two times a half is one and it'll cancel. So we'll have 2a equals bh. And then again, to solve for h, h is times b. So we'll divide both sides by b, the right side and the left side, and we're done. So h would equal 2a over b. That way, if you knew the area of the rectangle and you knew the length of the base, then you can figure out the height based off of those, those two things. So anyways, hopefully that, that helps you understand literal equations a little bit better and what you'll be asked to do. Um, again, you'll usually just have some equation with a ton of variables, some real life formula, and you'll be asked to solve for one of the other variables using your algebra skills.